technically Dazzle Drive, so it's kind of loud. But I'm in the Vegas airport, so I'm officially here. I am waiting for Katie. She should be here in about another half an hour, so I had to wait for her for about an hour and a half. But I wanted to give you an update that I have made it to Vegas. So excited for her to get here so we can uh, go have some fun. All right, I'll update you guys once you get there. Bye, guys. I wake up and live my dream. Someday soon I'm gonna make it. Yeah, all hard work's gonna be worth it.
I gotta go back to the first song that got me in Nashville and got me my record deal. If y'all know it, sing along with me. This is called Used to Love You So. There's some kids here today, so you can kind of get an example of what I went through growing up. I was raised by a single mom, she was 18 when she had me. Right. It was tough for us. We didn't have a lot of money. I used to live in a car. My mom no one does. I used to TV Cheerios. So I'm the happiest baby no ever. No one's got fucking money. My mom was really good at us hiding everything bad in life. So I always thought we were the richest family because I didn't know anything else because I was a kid. And she gave me everything that I could possibly ask for. And she was just a good mom. She ran into the main after day, so she was a definitely a good mom. <laughs> then my stepdad came into the picture. I'm not going to say what I really think about my stepdad, but... He's just that low of a person. And uh, he did some things to me when I was a little when I was a little boy and he left bruises all over my body. And my nana was a detective at the time. I was raised by all women. Uh, my nana was a detective at the time. I asked to go stay at her house. She saw the bruises all over my body. She had him locked up three weeks later. So, also, growing up in Georgia, I was... Uh, yeah, I don't even know if I said that. I grew up in Georgia. But I said growing up in Georgia, I went through a lot of racism. Uh, short story, I was, I was so small in middle school. I was one of the smallest kids on the football team, but I was one of the fastest because I didn't like you to do it. So I did just to run away from contact. And I was you just two boys, big. both brothers, seventh grader and eighth grader. You grown, you grown, kid, you grown. Me, calling me the N-word, trying to get me to fight. Okay. So I did a smart thing. I pushed the smallest one, and I took off running. And uh, I didn't go home the next day because I was so scared. I was staying in the woods and my mom was looking for me. I made it home. And the reason I'm telling you all this short story is because we got people fighting overseas for us right now. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, red, yellow, green, blue. Anybody you know you guys got. This next song is the most realest song I've ever written to this day. This is called Learning. I 
write your letter Guess this is better You win sometimes, lose sometimes No need to apologize It was the distance We had between us You broke us down in disguise No need to apologize That I miss you now And I need to reminisce this cause Ooh, 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 ooh We're still at a moment and They keep coming back to me I can't help that I miss you now Can't say I like it, but I can fight it Some things are not meant to be, even if it's hard to see I'll try to let go, it's not easy, you know Some things are not meant to be, let's skip the apologies ooh, 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 ooh. But I can help that I miss you now, and I need to reminisce this cause They keep coming back to me yeah. I can't help that I miss you now I can't help that I miss you now Oh, oh, oh. 